Well, so you said you've been mocked and they look huge. No, so you know somebody that's doing sarcasm on you, making jokes. Making jokes to, to them it's funny, but to you it's not. Not everybody can handle jokes. You know. and there's some jokes that should not be said, but people still do it because you know, <laughs> they, they can get away with it. But when it gets to you, you need to say, hey, I can't have it. You don't want to handle it. Well, then don't hang around these people that do this to you. Why hang around? Oh, to fit in, to be a part of the crowd? Yeah, but that's not how to be fit in, be part of the crowd. What crowd is that? The person that's doing all this is the one that's in charge, isn't it? You're just one of the flunkies. Yeah, well, of the grunts, they call them. The hired hand. Those that do jokes, that's how they get their ego. They need people behind them they can ridicule at, mock them. You don't want nobody like that. Especially if you're with a, a person that you want to be with for the rest of your life. And all they do is they put you down, call you names, and make jokes about you. And they say the entire family does that to you. What do you do? Number one, you don't go to the house or wherever they live. You don't go to their parties. You just don't go. You don't want to get bothered. You don't want that, that negative mockery on you. You don't want to feel like that. Why would you want to feel like that? It's not right. Did you hear me? You don't want to do that. Don't do that. No. They, they don't care about you. Remember, when you are in somebody's life, that person in you have something special. Okay? The family is not going to be on your side. That's their family. Just like your family is not going to be on their side. Okay? Their family is going to be on their daughter or their son or whatever it is. They're going to be on them. They're not your friends. Don't ever go and confide to a family member about their sibling or somebody that you're into. They're not your friends. Uh-uh. They'll go back and backfire on you. And you're going to look foolish. They'll laugh. And then that mockery and the ridicule starts. You can't say nothing. They're not your friend. They're not family. Even if you're married, they're not going to be on your side. Why should they take your side? You just married in or you're just coming into that fold. These people I do not care about you. They care about their, their, their sibling, their daughter, whatever it is they got. They care about that. They don't care about you, then you just somebody else. Your family cares about you, and your family don't care about that person either. So, if your family doesn't play jokes, tell stories, or st the stories they can tell stories and jokes, but not about the person. Okay, that's not right. That's not good. That's bullying. They're going, they're moving to a point where they're harassing you. You don't want to go on harassing, verbal harassing. Uh-uh. You don't stand for that. You don't allow that in the first place. Once they get to that line, you draw that line. You don't allow it. And these people are not your friends. So if I was you, you keep away from them. You can tell your significant other, and she can deal with the, the family, or he, him can do with the family. But sometimes they can't. That's what they like to do. They like to tell tales. You can get back at them. What's and what's that going to prove? They're not going to like you anyway. If they don't like you now, they ain't going to like you. So they figure they can really cue and put you down and hopefully you'll leave and go wherever you came from. But you don't want that because you care about the person you want to be with. That's either you know, their sibling, their, their child, you know, whatever it is they have. And you don't want to leave. You want to stay. So fight it. But don't go after them. You're not going to win. You have nobody on your side. Your family's on your side, but your family's not going to step in. You'll be fighting back and forth. You don't want to get that shadowing match. You want to stay at peace. You want to have a happy relationship. And you want to be at peace. Otherwise, you might as well just tell her, hey, it's not working out. Or he not, it's not working out. Because you can't take the 
the mockery and the other guy said well that's the way the family is they like to tell jokes and if you can't handle it then oh well and they, they say they don't care and they'll say whatever to you they say whatever the person you're with and they say whatever then you might as well go because they don't they don't have your back and they're not supporting you whatever whatever is not a good word that's negative whatever they couldn't care less when they say that they don't care if you're with somebody that says whatever to you, go, leave, get out of there. They don't need that. That's not perp that right? And you know so. Why would you stay? Why would you say something like that? That's not good. You need to get out of it. If they defend you, that's that's good. That's a positive person. They care about you to defend you like that. You gotta understand. Which is right, which is wrong, which is good, which is bad, which is evil, which is not good. Like I said, sarcasm is not a good thing. Some people do it, and they've been doing it for a long time, and they can't stop. Why should they stop for you? Who are you? Oh, really? You think they should stop because you are who? No, they're not going to stop for you. Why? You're just... You could be replaced. Yeah. You ever think about that? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we'll talk about this after we do that. We gotta do some things here, okay? Get out. Feel the aurora. Seven layers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's your aurora. aurora. Okay. And we're gonna take out negative cords. And in, during that time, you need to say inhale and and say release. Okay, now the chakras. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we've got the negative cords. This one's in the front. And we'll do the ones in the back. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to get the cords. A deep breath and that's it for that mm -hmm. listen it's, it's tough you think the sarcastic is a, is a hey the sarcastic but some of them they can't stop it. They've been doing it since a long time, and they forget. And they never, they might never stop, because in their family, that's all they did. Practical jokes that got out of hand, and they can hurt you if you're not used to it. Take out that sarcasm behavior out of you. The ridicule, the mockery. You don't need that in your life. Why would you stand for that? You gotta say no. And you say, hey, it's not fair. You gotta laugh at you. Don't even say anything to them. You go to the person that you're with that is that's their family. They can deal with them. They say, hey, self, leave them alone. Or her, leave her alone. You know, this is the person I want to be with and stop mockery. Otherwise, that person should say to that family, we're going to leave here and we're going to come back here. You're not going to see the grandkids or nothing like that. Blah, 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 blah. If you have any. And they'll stop. And if they don't stop, she should go with you. If you don't, if the, if the significant other that you're with don't leave, then you go and forget about that person because they don't have your best interest. They won't stand up with you and be on your side 
Do you see how all that plays out? So whether the sarcasm is friends, relationship matters, or whatever it is at work, oof, I thought of HR for that. I know the manager, manager can't do that. He has enough. He's not a uh, promotional person. He's handling the business. They get have no time for that. The HR is the person for that. They'll call them in, sit them down, and see what's going on. If they don't work out, they leave. They fire them. They get rid of them. If you're a value employee, if they're a value employee, it's gonna be really tough. It's tough. But don't put up with that stuff. That's a that's harassment. You just tell HR that's a verbal harassment and they won't stand for that. They're not supposed to. You don't need that. You don't go to work for harassment. Physical harassment, that's something different, but we're not doing that. We're doing words. It's verbal. They're saying things to you. So mocking in front of others, belittle you in front of others, calling you names in front of others. People don't Pay attention, especially if you just got management and your best friend, you thought it was a best friend, got jealous because you became manager. Well, stop mocking you in front of others and belittling you, making you feel small and nobody's going to pay attention to you because they're jealous of you. They don't want you to succeed. That's not a friend, by the way, when they do that. But it does happen. And you know it does. Don't. That's not a friend. I don't care what you say. That's not a friend. Nobody does that. When they do that, you have nothing to do with that. Then I can say that happened to me. I met a guy. Uh, we became good friends. Uh, he he just became manager. Yeah. When I became manager, oh, he didn't like that. Uh, uh-uh, he changed. Ever since that, the friendship went downhill. I didn't get him in trouble. I report him because he, you don't do that. You have no respect. I don't do that to him. Why shouldn't I? But see, that's the way he is. You learn. Huh. Now, 2024, okay, there you go. <laughs> that's it. Like I said, they don't care about you. Okay? That's not friendship. That's not, that's not a friend. It's not a friend. They don't do that. It's all about him. That's it. Like I said, don't stand for that, okay? Because if you let you let your guard down and that happens to you, you're gonna feel hurt. Okay, you remove all that negative energy off of you. How do you feel? Good? Okay, we're gonna use the drum. Negative talk was said. Okay. This is used to unstuck any negative energy. If you gotta unstuck it, get stuck. Okay. That's it. And then protecting lavender, jasmine, I can sleep and help you. Okay, so you can feel 100%. Remember, bullies will be bullies and they will use sarcasm against you and get you in trouble and try to hurt you. Well, hurt you emotionally. You do not want that in your life. You can function with verbal harassment. And don't let them do it. I know. Um, somebody's child was working at a plant. I can't say what plant it was. And the women ganged up on her because she was foreign. So the, the management said, hey, we could really use them. And you too. Can you work with them? No. They eventually, the person had to quit and leave the job. Can't work. You can't live, work like that. That abuse with the with the sarcasm comments and the mockery and name calling. No, no, no. No, that's not right.
You gotta, you gotta be at peace with yourself. You gotta be happy, okay? Now, remember what I said. Hopefully, you understand. Watch this session over and over again so you can feel better about yourself and get healed, okay? Hey, if you're new and you, this session has helped you with the sarcasm, do subscribe and help, you, you know, do your part by saying thanks to me. Say, subscribe to me. Thanks very much. Okay? All right, great. Um, subs and members, uh, thank you for your support in the channel growth. Mm -hmm. We're going to 6,000. Okay, great. And members, thank you for your support my effort. Okay? All right. Take care now. All right? Take care. See you later. Bye-bye.